My name is Rachel Castillo. I am the president and CEO of Advocates for Children. You might have wondered about the blue pinwheels at the beginning of this video. The blue pinwheel represents innocence and is a national symbol for child abuse prevention. The pinwheel is a positive emblem of the effect that we can have when we work together to prevent child abuse. Thank you for giving a child a better future. Hope in Your Home is a free in-home program to any parents in Bartow County. We focus on development-centered parenting and teaching families about developmental milestones with their children. We get in the floor and do activities. We address behavior needs as your children age to help kids grow to be happy and healthy and create families that support one another and bring comfort and hope. Outside of the parenting curriculum, we also provide families with community resources that are local so that they can get any needs met that they have, whether it is medical needs or nutritional needs. We make sure that they are connected if they wanna go back to school. We provide transportation. We also get them connected with employment resources. We make sure that each of our families are as well supported as possible from the inside out. My name is Deidre Montgomery. I have two boys. I have a six-year-old and I have a two-year-old. I had Jakari when I was 23 and turned around and had Jace. I have family, I have a huge family. I come from a family of 17, but you know, they're not here. I started out not having a job to giving up on school, to giving up on myself. As a single mother, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. And so I knew I needed help. And with Advocates for Children, they're there. Being a mother <laughs> didn't come with no manual. So these hardships we face as mothers, advocates come along and they just push us to become our best and remind us how strong we are. And today, I'm back in school. Miss Cammy, I'm back in school. I forgot to tell you. On top of that, I funded a whole organization, Missions from God, to give, you know, these less fortunate kids in this community a chance to actually live. It's a, it's a big thing. <laughs> you don't want to feel like you're failing. You don't want you don't want to be treated a certain type of way because you are you, you haven't lived up to your neighbor, you know? Like I might not have the perfect vocabulary, but going back to school, it sets the bar for my kids. I can't put into words how how appreciative I am as a mother, you know, for my babies, loving my babies as much as I love them. When Jace was a baby around six months, um, I fell into a bad depression. Um, and it was just playpen, TV, eat, sleep basically. So he was not getting a feel on what he needed to actually get up to walk. <sighs> when my baby took his first steps, it was the most beautiful moment ever. Like, I didn't care who was around. I did, and I'm like, oh my God! <laughs> the fact that we could share that that moment with so many beautiful, amazing women in one room, just trying to be there for the next single mother. Y'all changed my heart for the better. Jakari, he started out with gibber. And so when advocates came along, not only did they, his cognitive skills just shoot way up 
it just he just took a turn for the better he can actually complete full sentences now a lot has happened since advocates have came into my life it being just me raising two boys a whole newborn at that it was hard when i did not have a vehicle one phone call is all it took and my advocates made a way to get me to go get the baby diapers to get me to go get him milk advocates is there 1000 percent when you lost yourself they're here when you fall it's, they pick you up they help you up they hold your hand and that hand everybody needs I wouldn't trade it for the world if I could do it all over again I'd do it again everybody needs one in the beginning it's like should I open up should I get close should I you know allow for them to be around my kids <laughs> so the fact that y'all are here like I said it's a blessing these mothers these kids this community needs needs y'all parents you know when our backs is up against the wall we don't have nowhere else to turn. We look at our kids, you know, it's that extra push, but that advocate, she's not gonna let that parent or that baby fall short. If they don't have anybody else, they have that advocate. And that advocate is not gonna turn their back.
everyone. My name is Clara Alice, and I was told I was going to talk a little bit about who I am. And my name is um, I'm Clara, and I am a new resident to Bartow County. Um, I am recently a, a still a newlywed. I think if you're two years and under, you're still a newlywed. Um, I um, I came from the background of a very authoritative um, parenting. Um, there was a lot of spanking going on and um, maybe some behavior that shouldn't have happened as a child. Um, I, two years ago, I married my husband and my husband has six grandchildren. And um, they range from the ages of 21 years old to six years old. Um, last August, um, we got a phone call from the state of Alabama letting us know that two of its grandchildren were taken into custody. So my husband and I went over to Alabama and um, we worked through DFACS um, in Alabama to have our home um, uh, review to make sure that we were safe a place for our grandchildren to live and so I had just gotten my grandchildren at the time were 10 and 8 years old and they had experienced um, a lot of trauma domestic violence um, and uh, some other trauma from their mother and um, so we just brought them back over here to Georgia with us. And I had never had children. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do. I was, I didn't know anything. I just had to go from the experience that I had. And I knew that it wasn't like the best experience um, growing up as a child from my parents. So I reached out to the Advocates for Children and they informed me about Hope in Your Home program, and they introduced me to Sue Greenman. She was my um, family support specialist, and she gave me this wonderful book <laughs> about the Triple P program, which is a positive parenting program. Um, during that time, she would come out to my home, and we would do, she would give me homework, and we'd... <laughs> We'd go over my homework every week. And I remember in the very beginning, because I was just so overwhelmed, my grandchildren's behaviors were, um, they were acting out a lot. I mean, they were very disruptive, angry, um, angry, angry children. And I remember like the second visit when Mrs. Green Greenman came to visit me, I just sat there and cried for an hour. I, I told her I couldn't even go over the homework with her because I was just having such high anxiety. And I, cause I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> raising these two children other than just loving them and providing a home, a safe home for them. But there's a lot more to parenting than that. There's, there's about, giving them a rules and um, letting them help make those rules. And, and with the program, the Triple P program that we did together, um, they, she was able to help me to come up with a list of rules, four rules, and they range from we treat others the way we want to be treated, we play nicely, we are always honest and trustworthy, we, um, we do as we are asked. And those are four simple rules. And in the beginning, I didn't think the program would work. I was like, I still believed in spanking because that's how I grew up. And I mean, I remember I had that fear of God of my parents, but it wasn't working for my grandchildren. It was not working. I wanted it to work, but it was not. They never got afraid of Mimi. That's what they call me is Mimi. And um, so, you know, when we... Sue helped me to create a behavior log. There's a behavior log or behavior chart that we worked on together to, for me to recognize things that were going on in the home that would make, make them act out. And because I was able to use that chart and um, 
recognize that hey, they just may need more attention or they may just need, um, you know, a hug or positive reinforcement from me instead of discipline, discipline, discipline. <laughs> and then um, because it, it works so well, we created the reward system. And within that reward system, um, I'm going to tell you, I don't know who these grandchildren were, but I know who they are now. And they're wonderful, well-behaved children. They're very happy kids. Um, they love the reward systems that we created that the Hope in Your Home and the Triple P Parenting Program has helped me to do. And this program has worked so well with me that I have requested that their mother, who is we are working towards reunification with, complete this program. And she is enrolled and has her own family support specialist. So I really believe in Hope in Your Home and the Advocates for Children, and I am blessed to have them a part of my life. And I'm very, very grateful for this program. Thank you for sharing. Let me share. <laughs>